over the Raptors. 17 points, 15 rebounds. Allen can't find the range. Holmes with the rebound. Out comes Fox as he strolls into the forecourt. Deals to Heald. Heald shoots 10 and a half of those per game. And he <laughs> knocks down his first triple of the evening. Early in his career for his play on the defensive end. As Fox to the bucket. Can't hit. Out comes Colin Sexton. Sexton again on Heald. Finds the open man as Junior. Good pass by Sexton. Over the pass, over the top. Here's Tyrese Halliburton, drafted 12th overall in the most recent draft. They have been thrilled with his play over the first few months of his NBA career. 12-8 is the early Sacramento lead as Nance with the rebound after the barn shot. Rookie Tyrese Halliburton has five early points. Garland right to the bucket, right around Halliburton. Control running off of turnovers against this team. They don't seem to get back, at least they haven't so far. Halliburton, seven early points. Yeah, he's he's really coming in this league. Of the regular season. Heel, Holmes. Rashawn Holmes barges his way to the basket and gives the Kings an 18-12 advantage. Nance grabs his third rebound. He'll take it himself as we approach the midway point of the first quarter. Garland's open and he cans a three. Halliburton made a try for a steal. He missed it. Pokes at it as he was tangled up by Holmes. Out comes Halliburton once more. Stops, fires. That was a heat check. Wade, uh, Wade was a huge boost off the Cavalier bench last night. McGee. Nearly got stripped. The ball comes to Wade, and Wade throws it down. At 16 points in 17 and a half minutes last night in the victory over Toronto. At four threes, Fox spins, gets fouled by Cook, muscles it up and in, and De'Aaron Fox has a chance for three. Down the left side of the lane, missed the shot. McGee with the offensive rebound, deals up top to Wade. Wade fakes a three. Back to McGee. McGee dunks. Go ahead, big fella. Show me what you got. Take advantage if the your opponent is not ready. Take advantage. Whiteside is on a second tour of duty with these Kings. They'll feed Joseph underneath. McGee between the circles. Second on that list, by the way, is Buddy Heald. He's playing in consecutive game number 262 as Riddler to the basket. He uses the window from Hassan Whiteside. Still grabs the loose ball, and now it's Cook who saunters into the forecourt. Cook works off a McGee screen. Quinn Cook. Basically the way the Kings have played it all season. Joseph off the white side. White side gets it to go. Bielitsa nearly turned it over. Now he does. Windler with the steal. Up ahead to Cook. Cavs have numbers. Cook off to Wade. Cook mid-range. McGee to the ball. He was unable to put it home, however. Fox mentioned his speed. My goodness. <laughs> King lead is three. McGee high post. Good Finds pass. Osmond. Super pass. The big because right now the Cavs and the, and the Kings are just content without scoring each other. Windler can't get that to go. McGee once again. Dominating the floor. Harrison's in his ninth season. Hands yeah. off to Fox. And his name has been thrown around in some trade rumors. Fox tears to the bucket right around Windler. In the victory over the Toronto Raptors, they've been clean so far as here's a steal by Darius Garland. Garland toward the bucket, back to Sexton who lays it up and in. Oh no, I mean, because you're dealing with men all of a sudden. Good pass over the top by Sexton, good catch by Allen inside, opportunity for a three-point play. They're just doing a solid job of, of defending and playing uh, each other in that paint. Heald fires a long two that cuts the Cavalier lead to one. Irish Sean Holmes. The shot clock shows three. Garland to the lane. Deals to Allen. He spins. He's got a hurry. He bangs and scores. <laughs> we approach the three-minute mark of the second quarter. Holmes wants Halliburton. Eventually finds him. Halliburton has a dozen. He's five for six. We're going to set up Corey Joseph. Sexton. To the paint. Got it. And then Elgin was 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 just as important as that in the early NBA. They were huge for the NBA in their development. The Kings have a fresh 14. Yeah, second chance opportunity. Halliburton cruises to the basket. Through the first two quarters, we're underway here in the third. Buddy Heald works on Darius Garland. A twisting 15-footer gives the Kings a 64-59 lead. We need some of that this half. The Cavs committed only five turnovers in the first half as Fox will snake his way to the foul line and can a 15-footer. 
Kings by seven. Allen now has ten points. He's grabbed five boards. Fox, Dutter steps, got a Coro turn the wrong way. Wow. The Kings have opened up their largest lead of the evening. Sexton. Colin has an answer. Sexton has 13 points. Holmes left out there by Allen. Fox in the corner. Back to Holmes. Puts his head down. Stops and scores. A little slip that time. Heel fakes a three. Fires a three. Hits a three. Holmes has another double-double. 12 and 10. Hands off to Halliburton who works around a big Holmes screen. 15-footer. That's a funny looking shot, isn't it? <laughs> They've taken this 11-point lead as Fox now works on Garland. He stops, he fires, and he scores as De'Aaron Fox has 20 points. He's 9 of 14. Holmes is guarded by Osmond. Across the lane he goes. Open look. De'Aaron Fox. Angel Lindsey Harding also worked as a pro personnel scout for the 76ers. A number of seasons ago as meanwhile JaVale McGee to the bucket. I, I thought it would take defense to happen, but actually the lack of offense is what really turned the game around. Hassan Whiteside gets oh, the roll. Oh. Now that was a dead ball there. Osmond guarded by Barnes. Stevens is picked up by Joseph, got around him to the bucket and lays it in. Knights his way to the basket, missed the shot. Whiteside's putback doesn't go. Osmond escapes. Deals ahead to Stevens. Stevens to the bucket. Four, three or four baskets right away. Get a few stops and get your momentum going. Halliburton, a pretty move. He has 16 points this evening. Whiteside reaches for it, as does McGee. McGee wins the battle. It comes to Cook. Cook scurries to the foul line. Knocks down a 15-footer. Getting up and down the floor. Osmond, pursued by Bielitsa, finds an open Wade. Wade missed it at the rim, grabs it, recollects. Now Stevens, he doesn't miss. Cavs second unit coming in. Playing any longer this season, so we shall see how things shake out as the week progresses. De'Aaron Fox to the bucket, puts it up, puts it in, and has a chance for the three-point play. Seven is placed on the shot clock, and we're ready to go again. Dean Wade inside, Banks misses, but Dean with a follow. The big fella continues to bring positive energy to the floor. Halliburton on the Cavalier logo. Osmond's out there. Halliburton, straightaway jumper. He fires. Out comes Barnes. Halliburton. Timeout. Jackson, Steve Nash, all within striking distance. Needs about 325 more to catch Nash as Fox angles to the basket and gives the Kings a 104-89 lead. Now to Buddy Heel. Halliburton fires a mid-range jumper. Halliburton is Good. 10 of 14 for 25. Garland works on Halliburton. Shot clock winding down. There he is, Garland. With a long two. Okoro pressures Fox. Heald fires. He's got it. Buddy Heald has five threes tonight. In the Kings' last outing. Fox off the home. Now it's Barnes. Halliburton wide open. Halliburton now has a career high at 28. He's 11 of 15. Just the Cavaliers went cold offensively. And the Kings kept scoring too. So... And that was the difference in the ball game. That has been the big difference in the ball game. And out of energy offensively, because this was an offensive game won by. Y'all know I am the biggest Damian Lillard fan. And y'all have known that. If y'all have been following me, y'all have known that I've been his number one fan for years, years and years and years and years. And I think he is so underrated, so underappreciated. And I think now people are finally starting to see what type of player and person that he is. I like him because of obviously how he plays on the court, but how he carries himself off the court. He's so humble, uh, such a hardworking player. Def literally the definition of got it out of the mud. Like I love everything that he stands for. So last night he scored 50 points in a comeback win against the Pelicans. He had 50 points, like I said, on 13 of 20 field goals. He was 18 for 18 from the free throw line, had 10 assists and six rebounds. 
This man is top five in the league right now. Top five. I will argue with anybody about this. Top five. He's been top five. I don't know why people are going to even try to argue this with me, but I'm open to the conversation. I'm not going to say my top five right now. We're going to save that for next week when you guys can call in and stuff so I can talk to y'all about that. But I already know y'all are going to hate my top five, but that's fine because it's my top five and Dame is in it. I know he's not in a lot of other people's top five. And we talking healthy players right now, by the way. Healthy players that are playing right now. So that might alter some of y'all's top five a little bit. Doesn't really alter mine, but that's where we're going. I say what I said, that's it. We gonna come back to Dame next, next episode and talk about him. All right, cool. We done with sports. Okay, moving on.